on a happy Sunday night. I wasn't going to do another video. And then I get an email from Yankee Candle, two for 40 on their large jars. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go over there and just check out their new stuff. Because I've not been on Yankee in like forever. So I'm like, I'm going to check it out. And I found some new stuff. I was actually going to place an order. I tried to place an order. And then um, I got this like null error and the order didn't go through. I'm like, what the heck? I feel like there's just <laughs> there's an electronic glitch today. I had another company today that was glitching like crazy. I'm like, what the heck is going on? But I wanted to talk about their Easter collection because I actually do have strawberry bunny shortcake from last year. I decided to um, light this up again. This is actually a nice one if you like strawberries. So let's go over the Yankee Easter collection. It's not very big. Yankee doesn't do like a huge Easter collection, um, but they have some salad choices. In the past, <laughs> you guys, we're going to talk about these. So we had chocolate egg, chocolate candy egg. Remember this one? Um, I just had the mini on this one or the votive. It was okay. I like the Goose Creek chocolate a lot better. Um, that was a lot stronger. Oh my gosh. Remember the dirt candle? If you guys have been watching me for years, I'm going to put a screenshot up. It was called, what was the heck was that thing called? <laughs> I got this candle. I don't even know what happened to it. I, did I get the candle? I don't even remember. Or the votive. It's called Sweet Bunny Carrots. And I think I have the votive right here because this smells like it. Yep. <laughs> it smells like dirt. It was like a carrot, like, beet <laughs> dirt mixture. It was the weirdest candle. I did not like this candle at all. It's funny because sometimes these votives, you can't smell them as much. This is it. I know this is it. I smell dirt, you guys. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I remember that candle. And then um, they brought back this year, they also brought back the Easter bouquet. I got the votive from last year. This is a nice floral. If you like Easter floral, Easter bouquet is always a solid choice. And then the other one, that is returning is the bunny vanilla cupcake check it out um this one isn't bad uh bunny vanilla cupcake is on the light side i gotta tell you it is on the light side it is the um what are the scent notes in this one come on yankee um vanilla icing malted sugar cake batter chocolate cocoa vanilla bean i don't really see that this is a chocolate like strong chocolate at all I get more of like a frosting. It's hard to tell with the votives, um, especially if you've had the votives for a while. But um, I did not get a lot of chocolate from this one. They do have a new candle. It is called Gnome Bunny Jelly Bean. That's the one I wanted because I'm like, I love gnomes. Um, that one is green apple, nectarine, pineapple blossom, and sugar. I thought maybe that one might be a little stronger because it's got the cherry and the green apple. I'm like, that's an interesting mix. It's supposed to stop, smell like jelly beans. Um, I don't know, I still might get that one if there's a sale coming up, but that one is intriguing to me. That's like the only one that sounds really interesting. Uh, Yankee does have a couple of, um, like the Illumilids in the Easter patterns. They've got some jar holders. They've got a tea light candle holder. Um, not a ton of stuff this year for Easter, but if you like Yankee, you might want to uh, pick one of those candles up while they're on sale, uh, two for 20. I also noticed that they have a mango ice cream candle. I thought about getting that one, but I'm like, I don't really like mango all that much. <laughs> so I don't know. And then um, they've also got like this, I think it's a new cherry blossom, uh, which looks interesting. It's called uh, Sakura Blossom Festival Collection. Looks interesting. That collection, I have a feeling might be good because Yankee does do a decent job on the um the florals they have majestic mount fuji uh that's part of the i think that the mango ice cream is part of that collection i also have i don't know if this is part of that collection you guys i gotta review this one oh you know what this is this is the pink cherry vanilla i think this is part of that collection i got a five wick this smells good it's a nice floral i gotta review this five wick from yankee when i got my wax melter I, I wanted to get free shipping, so I picked up one of their five wicks. So uh, this is on my list to review. So I will get to that. But um, 
getting back to the strawberry bunny shortcake the set notes in this one are let me get to my easter collection again let me see here it kind of reminds me a little bit of strawberry pound cake it is a um sponge sugar sweet strawberry lychee black raspberry blood orange passion fruit fluffy cotton candy pink pomegranate pink kiwi whipped vanilla malt and white honey. There's like a ton of scent notes in this one. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, but it does smell really good. I did uh, burn this one last year. I enjoyed it. I just started it up about, um, I don't know, a half hour ago, and I'm getting a little bit of throw from this. It's not overwhelming. I don't feel like Yankee is very strong these days. A lot of people still like them though. Um, they do have some unique scents. Honestly, um, if I wanted a more fruity, candle in like a lot of people like these country jars i would go with the uh the country candle kringle um the cotton candy clouds uh this one smells amazing i gotta review this one this smells just like cotton candy it's awesome and um it's sugary i i think that's a great easter candle but like i said a lot of people like this jar style what i like about kringle though is they give you the two wicks and i really feel like the two wicks does such a better job on the wax pull. I don't know why Yankee over all these years on their um, country jars has not switched to a two wick style because the problem with the Yankee one wick, unless you put an Aluma lid on there, you're going to get a lot of tunneling. Um, you don't always, but I, I have a lot in the past and I, I don't, that's like, no, I don't. <laughs> It drives me crazy when these candles tunnel. So I usually always put the Aluma lid on because it does help like spread the heat out. But definitely a good sale today at Yankee um, with the two for 20. Uh, you might want to consider, like I said, getting a couple of those um, new Sakura Festival. Uh, those look nice. I mean, they're, they're florals. And then I don't know if those are in the, um, the country jars. They're moving over to those new signature jars. Those are the two wicks. So I actually, I got a vanilla one a while ago with that one and I did like it. So anyway, um, let me know if you're picking up anything this year from Yankee for Easter. And uh, let me know if you remember the dirt candle. <laughs> it's the dirt candle. Anyway, oops, I was lost to do the dirt candle. Thank you as always for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.